Good morning, friends. Set with a few other friends yesterday uh, talking about and learning about the Holy Spirit and his work in our lives yesterday. And um, uh, in a part of that uh, meant reading and reflecting on John 14. And uh, this is where Jesus describes that uh, he is about uh, to be executed. And, uh, and he's telling his trainees uh, about what to expect. Um, and he introduces uh, this word, the Greek word kind of translates to paraclete. Um, it means one who's called to stand next to you as a helper. So it gets translated like counselor, comforter, advocate, encourager, intercessor, helper, but none of that explains kind of its full meaning. Um, in essence, what Jesus is saying is, uh, is I'm going to continue to live in you, right? uh, in uh, the person of the Holy Spirit, and in you, I will protect, defend, and save you from yourself and from your enemies, uh, and to keep you whole and keep you healed and empower you. Uh, empower you to bear witness uh, to me, Jesus, in the world. And so let's, uh, let's read through a little bit of, uh, of John 14 in connection to the Spirit and in uh, a prayerful space of our willingness and desire to collaborate with the work the Holy Spirit wants to do in our lives, reconciling us to the life God made us for, as well as reconciling those around us, our family, our neighborhoods, our friendships, workplaces. So here's Jesus speaking. <laughs> and he says, I, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Whoever believes in me will be able to do what I've done, but they'll do greater things. Because I will return to be with the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, Jesus says, I will do it so that the Father will get glory from the Son. Let me say it again. He says, if you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, obey. If you love me, obey the commandments I have given you. I will ask the Father to send you another, here's that word, helper, the Spirit of truth, who will remain constantly with you. The world doesn't recognize the spirit of truth because it doesn't know the spirit and it's unable to receive him. But you do know the spirit because he lives with you and he will dwell in you. He's with you, but more. He will dwell. He will live. He will make a home in you. Jesus says, I'll never abandon you like orphans. I will return to be with you. In a little while, the world won't see me but I, I will not vanish completely from your side because I live. He says, I'm going to live again. And because of that, you also will live. We will live. <laughs> At that time, Jesus says, we will know that, that he's in the Father and that we are in him and that he is in us. And again, he reminds us, the one who loves everyone, uh, the one who loves me will do the things I've commanded. My Father loves everyone who loves me. And I will love you and reveal my heart, will, and nature to you. Holy Spirit, fill us. Holy Spirit, <laughs> draw us in to you as our helper. Holy Spirit, may we join you in what you want to do today in us and through us. Amen. Grace and peace.